Hello and welcome to the Business Tech's Helper videos. This video is about the Google Merchant Center module and its Pro version. I'm going to show you how to import your product feed in your Google Merchant Center interface. In your Google Merchant Center online interface, go to Products, Feeds New. To import a complete product feed, click on the plus button in the primary feeds section. You can see that it is indeed the products type that has been selected. So you are in the right place. Then select the country in which you want to show the products of your feed. For example, the United States. And automatically Google indicates the official currency and language of the country. About the feed destination, this is already checked. It's for the Google Shopping service. So you click on Continue. Primary feed name and input method. First, you are asked to give a name to your feed. You can enter what you want. For example, as I will import an English product feed for the United States, I can write ENUS product feed. Then select your feed import method. Check scheduled fetch because you are about to ask Google to fetch your product's data at a certain frequency that you are about to define. So then click on continue. Setup. First, you have to give a name to your data file. As for one feed, there is a single file, you can give the same name as your feed. So I enter en US product feed. Then you have to define the fetch frequency of your data. As a reminder, with our module, you have two possibilities for the recovery of your product data, depending on your catalog volume. Either you have a catalog relatively small, less than 1000 products, and your data can be retrieved on the fly, that is to say in real time. In this case, in the file URL field, here, indicate the on-the-fly output URL. You can find it in the module, in My Feeds tab, by clicking on the on-the-fly output section. Use this solution. You have for each language, country, currency group the on-the-fly output URL that you have to copy and paste in the Google Merchant Center interface. So I copy this URL for ENUSUSD in the URL field. And then you just have to set the frequency at which you want Google to retrieve your data in real time. So for example, daily at 6 a.m. and for this time zone. Or you have a large catalog, more than 1000 products, and your server may not be powerful enough to support an on-the-fly recovery. In this case, you have to create an automated task called a cron task to regularly update a XML physical file with your product data. For more information, please visit our FAQ on creating a cron task. It's this file, regularly updated, that will be fetched by Google. So, in the URL field, you have to enter the XML file URL. 
you can find it in the module in in my fit tab and this time it's in the physical file plus cron task section so i click on use this solution and as before for each language country currency you have the url you have to copy and paste in the google merchant center interface so i copy this url and I paste it here. Please note that if you use a cron task to update your XML data files, it is necessary that when Google retrieves the file, it has already been updated. So you must schedule the Google recovery after the file update by cron. Depending on the volume of your products, try to sufficiently space out the two tasks. For example, if the cron task updates your file with the new data every day at 3 a.m., schedule the Google recovery of the updated file at 6 a.m. Of course, be careful to use the same time zone for both tasks. Then, if your URL is password protected, provide your login info. It's not the case here, so I just click on continue. You're done. As you can see, your feed appears in the primary feeds section. The first import will be done at the time you have previously defined in the data recovery schedule. But if you want to immediately import your products in order to submit them to the Google validation now, you can do it by clicking on the feed name and then in the processing tab by clicking on the three vertical points and select fetch now the import is going to start then you have to wait for the google validation you will be able to see the results in the diagnostic tab this ends the video thanks for watching and see you soon on business tech website